Hi, I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian. Today we are going to talk about drag bunts. <laughs> For our Tasha tip, today we are going to focus on mainly the left side, um, doing a drag bunt from the left side. And when we do this, we want to do this to put pressure on the defense. That's why we have a drag bunt. This is something that I can do in a situation where I want to put down a bunt for a hit. I also can use this if I'm more comfortable with the drag bunt of moving through the box as opposed to staying stationary for a bunting. This can also work in a sacrifice bunt situation. This is great for moving runners, but this is great for also getting yourself on base. Some things to think about for a drag bunt, the same footwork applies as our slap. So go back and look at my Tasha's tip for slapping to know how your footwork should be. But the main thing we wanna think about is making sure that we get our hands out in front before our left foot lands. We wanna make sure that our bat barrel is out. We're aiming for that top third of the bat. What gets tricky as a drag bunt is I'm moving forward. So sometimes girls will have their bat still moving forward as the ball is coming. You want to make sure that your bat is already out in front before you get that foot down. You want to have your hands parted. You want to get this ball in the middle of the field where a third baseman pitcher, first baseman, a catcher, they all think that they can get this ball. They can all make this play. You want to make them have to communicate to make this play. So create some um, pressure on the defense when you're doing this. So making sure you're getting that bat out, stepping into it, aiming for that top third, have your hands separated and create some pressure on the defense. So just to reiterate, I talked about getting that ball in the middle of the infield. A little bonus tip for you guys is you're gonna create a little bit more pressure on the defense if you can start to take that ball with you as a lefty. It's a little bit harder for a first baseman to get it, completely turn around and throw you out, especially if you're someone with speed. Creating that pressure is so key, so essential. So a little tidbit, Think about middle and bringing the ball with you down the first baseline. Good luck out there.